All right, Coach Brock's back. Uh, this is, uh, you know, other than the three days and everything, I told the other players, I told Matt Brown, Kevin Help Hill, people that we talked to about, hey, okay, maybe three days. I mean, it's a lot of work, but as far as the excitement factor, hey, it's here. Yeah, we're excited to get started. You know, we're uh, our players are a year into the program now. I think they have a lot more confidence than a year ago. The staffs we're all settled now. I guess that's a good word for us, at least for me, anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, very unsettled a year ago at this time with two homes and wife going back and forth and son going to new high school. So it's uh, our lives as coaches are we're much more settled. So it's uh, everybody's a lot, a lot more familiarity with the with this with the environment, the uh, culture, and uh, obviously our team. So that's 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 real good right now. One thing I also asked those guys about was the chemistry, and that's what one thing that I think is readily evident just watching you guys around taking pictures and that thing. I the chemistry looks great. Yeah, we've really worked hard on that. I think that's been a, an issue we really wanted to to address. You know, there's a lot of ways to team build and. Uh, um, just add little ditties throughout the year, and I think our team's a much tighter group than it was a year ago. And uh, um, the kids that from the from the old regime that are here now with us are, have really done a great job of embracing uh, what we're telling them, what we're teaching them, and they've done they've done a great job of, of drawing in the, the young players and new guys this year. So uh, things are going very well so far. And, you know, we're very early in camp as we do this. And, uh, you know, offense has great days some days. Defense has great days other days. And that's sometimes by design also. But uh, uh, what do you want to get accomplished this year as opposed to last year? I mean, systems are in place now. So uh, does it differ uh, in camp, uh, for instance, from last year when you're trying to install some systems? Well, right now you're just looking for, for competition. And uh, we have a lot of competition in a lot of positions. Uh, we're looking for enthusiasm. Uh, we're looking for guys who... Uh, playmakers all over the field. Uh, it's funny you mentioned offense and defense. I thought the first day the offense had a little bit of edge on the defense, which we were, the defense kind of was taken back because at the end of the year last year and mo most of the spring they were pretty salty. And the offense got after them the first day. And uh, yesterday the defense got after them. And then, then then all of a sudden during team period it went back and forth. So that's kind of what you want to see. You want to kind of see when one team's got an edge that the other team will We'll, we'll try to regain the momentum and, and battle back, and that's that's what you get out get out of camp. And um, it's not good if one team dominates the other, uh, I don't think. But uh, so far that hasn't happened. We haven't any pads on, but uh, that hasn't happened so far. You mentioned the competition aspect, and how set are you? Maybe in the back of your mind, maybe not officially on a depth chart, but uh, you know how set are you right now, or can it ever be set until we get a little later in this? Oh, I don't. I don't think you're ever really, really set until you until you get a little later because there's a lot, of, a lot of variables come into play. You know how fast. So you may have an idea. Well, this guy's a, a really good player, but all of a sudden there's a guy that comes out of nowhere and it really starts developing. Say a young player, or a transfer, or a, or a guy last year played. All of a sudden the light goes on. So that, that happens. So this time of year everybody gets a chance to to show what they can do. We work with everybody on the football team and uh, for about two weeks here, and then after two weeks we got to kind of pare things down and kind of focus on the guys we think are going to play the most but um, always trying to develop talent and uh, um, but you know you have it you have a idea in your mind but uh, it, you know that that's that's in pencil right now as you know I know you're uh, fairly happy with the way they came into camp you've been working throughout the summer are you pleased pretty much with it? very much so I think uh, coach Cutchlow and his staff have done a tremendous job with our players and to the point we gave him the last week he gave him the last week of, of conditioning off um, try to get try to get their legs back underneath them. Try to get their mind right. And uh, uh, yesterday, I thought you could see you know the second day, the first day. You know, I was kind of excited, and sometimes I get a little fatigued early because it you know adrenaline more than anything else. But yesterday's in the next couple of days when you find out. But yesterday, I thought we looked pretty good. It was pretty warm out here. It got pretty hot, and and uh, I thought they looked very well. They, they hung in there pretty good. We didn't have a lot of guys. We had a couple of guys cramp, but that's just part of it. That happens, and um, but not. Not, not what you thought would happen. So I think we're in pretty good condition. I think we're real good condition. And one thing I know is we're a much bigger and much more physical looking team than we were a year ago. We look more. We look like a college football team, which is uh, great. You know, we got some obviously bigger kids, but we also got uh, you know, Good Work has done a great job with them. Well, we'll let Dick and Ted tell you talk a little more about Exodus and O's when we get together. But uh, you're the face of the program. How much are you getting uh, hit up every time people see you on the street? A lot. You know, everybody <laughs> thinks we're going to be really good. I said, you guys know something I don't. But um, I, 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 you know, I've been asked that question a lot throughout the summer. You know, we've been ranked in, in, in national polls and third in the league. And I said, hey, at one poll, there's 
15 teams that people think are better than we are in the nation. And now the poll, there's 12 teams better than they think in the country. In the conference, people think there's two teams better than us. So we have a lot to, lot to prove. So there's not, you know, there's no complacency here. There's no, you know, no, hey, we've arrived and we're well, way, way, way far from any of that. So, and that will never be the case here. You know, we're always, we're always working, striving to get better, and always trying to improve. And, and uh, that's that's what we'll, we'll that's be our mantra. We're gonna get better every day. And. Uh, it's fun. Hey, I, you know, I believe there's more pressure now. There's more, more, nobody puts more pressure on me than me and, and our staff, you know, and our players. I mean, we want to, we want to be a really good football team. We want to be really good. We want to win championship, and that's what that's what our goals will always be. Uh, but you have to embrace the process right now. You can't can't get ahead of yourself. And what's the process of becoming a championship football team? What are the things you have to do to become a championship football team? That's what we're focused on right now. We're focused on the process. We don't worry about the end result. The end result is all to take care of itself. So first of many, first of many chats we'll have. So good luck, and uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yep. Thanks for the time. You're welcome.